Hey, welcome back once again. Bob the Vaping Computer Guy. Today we're going to be looking at the Nixon V2 by EH Pro. Okay, so the Nixon, which I think was a ridiculous name showing President Nixon on there. Um, I never bought one of those just because I thought that was silly. Uh, this is the V2. Came out pretty inexpensive. I'll look up the price when we come back up and talk about it. Um, but um, pick this up, and um, there you go. It's vaping pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's basically a short fishbone, which is a very popular RDA. So. Let's go down, do the up close, and we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so I apologize, my workbench is a little crowded. I'm running out of room here. Okay, this is some upcoming stuff for review, so I'm trying to keep it here so I don't mix it up and forget to review it. So this is the new EH Pro Nixon V2. Um, I never had the V1. The Nixon V2 is new, newer, I should say. But I've been using this for a while, but I put it back in the box uh, just to do an unboxing for you here. Uh, so you got your authenticity. Let's get that in better focus. All right, you got your authenticity code. You got some basic instructions on there. Otherwise, just your standard box, website. All right. Now, before we even start, if you notice, if this didn't have the name on it, the first thing I think this probably is, is the um, fish bump. As you can see, it's very similar. It's a uh, four post instead of a three post, uh, but quite similar to it. I guess they, th this was very popular because of the price price point on that, and it uh, looks like they copy in that. So let's take a look. There's your tank. Dripper. Let's show you what else we got in here first. A little mouthpiece there. This is a soft rubber, kind of an extension. screwdriver, another O-ring, some extra screws, cotton, a couple of foils. Okay. Come on, get it. Okay. Very, very simple. Now, uh, this the glass, you can see I actually didn't even put it on all the way. You find you need something to put it on, let's throw it on the tank here, on the uh, mod. It's hard to get it off. It is a very good seal on the bottom there. Turn that off before I burn myself. You can see on here, the seal, they actually look like, this doesn't even come off. This is like, um, it's like they scraped it up to be rougher, or they added a little bit onto it. Because it does look a little thicker here. Let's see if I can get that in better focus for you. It's a little bit thicker there. Yeah, see, it's like something they put on there. Kind of like a glue that they put on there which doesn't come off. As you can see, it's not perfect. Um, but that's making this rougher and thicker. And if you notice your seal that you have on here, that O-ring, it makes a really good, let's tighten that down, a really good seal, which is very nice. Best to turn this as you put it on. It is really good. Once you get it on there, it's you know you can vape on it, drip through the top, and not, not worry about that at all. Even here, it's just not on good. Look at that. It really takes a while to get it on there tight, and that's good. You can see a slight gap there, but that's not going to matter. It's such a good seal in there. All right, take it off though. Whoa, sorry about that. Hope you don't have vertigo like I do, because it's throwing up on your keyboard. All right, so. Here's the dripper itself, Nixon V2, serial number, airflow is bottom airflow, it's side, but it comes to the bottom and then moves to the side. That's considered bottom airflow. You see I got a couple of coils in there. Decent sized juice well. Maybe half a centimeter. These coils are really long. Oh, 
Oops, looks like that screw's loose. Let's get a good screwdriver here. So I'm washing it. You can see these are pretty long screws. That one, that one. All right. Posts are in there nice. They're not going anywhere. I've been very happy with that. I mean, there's not much else to show you on this. Pretty simple. Airflow, unlike the uh, fishbone which is just a fixed airflow okay just turning this doesn't do anything for you they did improve this greatly by giving you a controllable airflow look at that alright and that's wonderful to be able to open and control that airflow closed open halfway um, the only thing I find which you'll see when we go back up top when we vape on it and there it goes shows you zero, uh, open and closed I was going to say zero and one, <laughs> like computers, everything is zero and one, on, off, it's, uh, here is open, closed. So, the only thing is, it does turn very easily. So you can be vaping on it, and um, just by your mouth, uh, you know, on the top part, on the mouthpiece, it, you know, you can actually can change your airflow. So, that's a bit of a downside on there, but we'll talk about that a little more. So, uh, let's whip this up, and then uh, go vape on it and talk about it some more. Focus? Okay. Let's grab a little cotton here. Might be a little too thick, but we will find out. coils kind of high and make sure I have enough cotton to uh, reach the bottom. These coils by the way I have already been using so I know they're uh, they're good where they are that's why I haven't burned them heated them up on you. Let's see. As you can see that's pretty good. I know a little long maybe but it'll work. side is closer. Let's cut a little bit at an angle. Take some of that off. Don't criticize my cotton uh, wicking technique on this. Every time you do something like this, Always got one or two people saying, oh, you should have done it this way. You should have wicked it under this way and then over this way because through here, that's the way you'll get the best airflow. Wick how you like to wick. This works fine. As you can see, you're not covering the airflow. It's right under the coil. Cotton's going into the wells. The coil's a little, little bent. But I don't really don't want to play with it right now, so I'm just going to... I'm going to leave it the way it is. Let's throw this back on here. Oh, put some juice on first over here. So I'll have to do it off camera later. This is some of my own uh, DIY juice. This is, um, what's this got? Strawberry custard vanilla. I'm holding it tilted so anything that drips will go that way into the center into the cotton instead of down into the airflow hole. I hope I turn it back 
on. Where are we at? 45 watts here, uh, 0.38 coil. Okay. Nice. Smells even better. Pushing it straight down, it's more like a sponge, it bounces back up. You really gotta, sorry, did it again. Trying to be really close, give you a really good video here, and I keep hitting that camera. There you go. And look how loose. So, I try to just keep it all the way open. I, ra I think I'd prefer it slightly closed, but because when it's slightly closed and you vape on it, just the slightest bit, it's moving. I just keep it all the way open, vape on it that way. And here's this little, uh, because it is short, it is quite a bit shorter than the uh, fishbone. At high wattage, it will heat up much more, and um, it does get kind of hot. So I guess in testing, uh, they probably found that to be the case, and said, oh well, it, here's the cheapest way we can fix this, is just give somebody a little rubber extension thing here. So I think that looks ridiculous if you, if you care about how it looks when you're vaping. It does work. I mean, it certainly keeps it cool and certainly does better, but I rather, it does restrict your airflow, obviously, the difference in the size of the holes. Um, I like it without it, and I just use it a little bit lower wattage, and it seems to work fine. So, there you go. Let's go back up and talk about it. Okay, so there you have the uh, Nixon V2 by EH Pro. All right, I'm vaping on some of my strawberry uh, vanilla custard. Uh, my own concoction there, very good. And uh, yeah, the only complaint I have with this, only complaint, is how loose it turns for the airflow. Um, you could be vaping on it and just move a little bit and you cut off your airflow. So, not that you should be doing this when you're vaping probably, that, that looks weird. But just leave the airflow open all the way and I'm happy with it. But if you're trying to balance it in the middle to get a little less airflow, most likely one or two hits on it and you're going to turn it slightly and adjust your airflow. That's the only downside. Um, I haven't found a way, let's see, I try, took a look at it when I first got it, but I haven't found a way to tighten that. I don't think the screw is going to do it. Let's see. Of course, now that it's here, it's, now see, hmm, got my screwdriver, try again. No. Now, see, this, the, the center screw shouldn't have anything to do with that. Obviously, that's the post, um, but it uh, it doesn't tighten enough. You can't tie, it's tight as tight as it goes, and it will still move slightly, easily, I should say. So that's the only downside to this thing, all right? So I'll leave the airflow all the way open. Very nice. Uh, if it get, starts to get hot, you can throw that little rubber nubbin thing on there on high wattage. It looks silly. I don't like it. Uh, try it. Um, but it certainly does its job in terms of keeping it uh, from getting hot. It does its job there. So if you don't mind that, it does work well. Um, what did I pay for this thing? Let's look it up because I don't remember. You know what? I got it right here. Um, Nixon. This is 13 bucks from uh, Gearbest. Uh, free shipping. You know, I ordered a whole lot of stuff from them. This, I saw this. I grabbed this thing. 13 bucks. You know, for a nice little dripper. Uh, you can't go wrong. Um, it really this looks like an original. Obviously, it's EH Pro. It's it's their packaging uh, that they normally have. So, it, you know, it's inexpensive. Just like uh, the same price point as the uh, Fishbone was right in that range, too. So... They just basically copied it, turned it into a four-post design with airflow control, which are two great improvements. Uh, the the um, fishbone, which was pretty popular, was uh, three posts, no airflow control on the bottom. So they improved on it. Uh, they did make it shorter. If they made this a little taller, it might have been nicer. But by keeping it shorter, there's less air in there when you start to vape. So I think you're getting a concentrated, uh, better concentration of the flavor, uh, which is an improvement.
I mean, that's 45 watts on a, on a 0.3, I think a 0.4 ohm coil. It's great. Very happy with it, so there's a nice quick short review on that for you. Um, I'll put a link below to the one I got and where I got it from, and um, yeah, I definitely definitely recommend it. Aside from that loose airflow control, uh, 13 bucks, you can't beat that. It, it's a great little dripper. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care.